This is such a popular question on the SAT, but so many people get it wrong because they just don't know how to approach it. Here's how to never get it wrong ever again. You're literally given two lines over here and the question is asking how many solutions or in other words, how many intersections does the system of equations above have? When you're given two lines and you're looking for a number of solutions, all you have to do is use something known as the matching rule. And how the matching rule works is quite simple. All you have to do is just line up the y's, x, and the numbers and just compare the numbers attached in front of each of these variables. So in this case, our y's are going to be one over two. Our x's are going to be three over negative six and our number portion is going to be just eight over 16. Then you just simplify these numbers. We have one half, we have negative one half, and we have positive one half. And according to the matching rule, when the y's and numbers are matching like one half and one half, then you only have one solution, which means our answer is going to be choice B. But let's say in future problems, you see a case where y and the x is matching. If that's the case, you have zero solution. And when you have everything matching, y matching, x matching, and the number matching, that's how you know you have infinitely many solutions. SAT is an exam of patterns like